Okay, hi and welcome to my presentation of part one of the Wumpus world. Um, well, here we import the libraries and firstly we create the, the world. And uh, uh, I made this with uh, Jen Sandersson. Uh, together we had a lot of fun. Uh, and our world is, uh, is made up by uh, cells, so to say. It's a big world and each room in the world is a cell and an object of the class cell. And each object can have different uh, 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 different states or uh, variables, so to say. And uh, they can have a minion, wumpus, stench, pit, breeze, gold, everything. And each cell also has a, has a position in the world. We override the to text function, and then when we made the class of cell, we make a class of scary world, which is the entire world in this case. Uh, we initialize it, and uh, then we create an empty world where we append to a list, uh, empty lists, and then we create uh, cell objects which uh, in case of uh, a wall gets wall true and empty false and then we uh, set uh, that cell to that uh, part of the world and then we iterate over it and we can reset the world where we make a new world uh, from scratch and uh, we can put things in the world uh, and this is uh, the pits the bumpus and the gold and uh, uh, we iterate, so to say, we have a check post which is false, and then we have uh, each uh, positions which we take as a random integer, and we exclude the start position, and then we take uh, to one less than the width of the maze and height, and we iterate over it. Uh, and if it's okay, if it's not the start position, it can be a pit, for example, and then it sets that world. Uh, that cell uh, dot, dot wall to something. If if that cell dot wall is false, and if it's not a, not a pit, then it can be a new pit, and then that cell gets uh, true, uh, pit true, and uh, empty is false. Uh, and in it uh, then puts out the breeze for each pit in the four directions from uh, this, uh, I can't remember the name, but uh, these variables, so we can iterate uh, or up, uh, right, down, left. Um, we do that and then it goes to next, next, which is the Wampus. And then same thing, iterates and it looks that it's uh, not a wall and it's not a pit and then it can be a Wampus. And then it's, it sets the Wampus to true and the empty to false. And we have the gold. And then we have the function to see if uh, the, the maze or the world is solvable. And it's uh, just a breadth first search, uh, which uh, makes an empty front, appends the start position. And then while the front uh, is, uh, well, the length of front is more than zero or gold is true, which says, says it has found the gold then it should iterate over the front and append to the front. So a standard breath first. And it looks if uh, uh, goes goes through each cell in the front and uh, sets visited to true if it has been there or if it's going there. And then if the gold is true, then gold is true and it can return gold uh, to the calling function uh, or to the call to the function oh, and then uh, it uh, iterates uh, through the world and it looks uh, if uh, it is false or if uh, it's a wumpus or if it's a wall if it's visited everything and it does this for each direction from the current position uh, time flies here, it's soon, soon five minutes. <laughs> and we have a silence echo just if uh, we shoot the Wumpus, it uh, silences the echo after a while. Then we have our minion, which is the agent. 
and it has takes in the map height and width and it also has a reset uh, function in the initializer um, and the reset function just sets the start values for the minion or agent and it has a start direction or looking direction which is right um, gold is false it's uh, alive is true such and then it makes a map and uh, our minion or agent has its own map in its mind which from start is just contains an empty map with uh, cells but all it puts out if uh, the cell is a wall it gets a wall true but it, it otherwise appends uh, empty cells to the map in the mind of the minion and uh, the starting position gets minion true and empty false and then we can move the minion. We have a function for that. And also this function is used for turning the minion around. So we can, uh, we can look in different directions and we can also uh, move in different directions. Um, and for every, every movement, uh, looking in a different direction, we don't count that as a movement. So it doesn't get any minus points, but for stepping into a new room or a new cell, it gets one minus point. Uh, and the, uh, the cell where it came from, well, that cell has a minion false and uh, empty is true for that cell. And then uh, we have this matrix. Uh, um, and it, well, if, if it's up, it takes the zero, which is up and so forth. And then it makes uh, a cell that gets the cell for that particular where it where it's going the one the cell it uh, the minion is stepping into it gets that cell and uh, goes uh, calls the percepts function and passes the cell to that function uh, and the percepts then can uh, get sense uh, get percepts from that cell it can be eaten by a wampus or it can fall down in a pit it can find the gold and gets a thousand points um, but also the cell can have a scream. If you kill the wampus, it gets a scream. It, uh, the cell can have a stench, it can have a breeze, or the cell can be a, a wall, in which case the, uh, the minion gets a bump in the head. Um, and then we move the agent. Uh, we can also shoot an arrow, and the arrow is shooting in the, in the direction the agent is facing. And uh, basically, takes the direction and then iterates over in that direction, uh, goes through every cell in that direction until it, the, the arrow either hits a wumpus or hits a wall. And if it hits a wumpus, then the wumpus dies and the scream goes out uh, over the whole uh, world in this case. Um, I have a policy, but it's empty for now. And we overwrite the string function. And we have the main where we create the world and we put the size of the world here so we can change the world if we, if we want to. We put the things in the world <laughs> and then we declare some variables. Solvable uh, is false to start with. Reset false, exit play. And then uh, while we don't want to exit, we reset the world to start with. So we while it's not solvable, it uh, resets the world, put things, and then it goes to the breath first search to see if the world is solvable. And it uh, iterates over that until solvable gets true, where it uh, creates a minion and, uh, uh, well, play gets true, so it plays the game. Um, and here it does it, uh, you can play the game while the minion is alive. Or, uh, it hasn't found the goal or play is true. Um, and if it uh, the, there is a scream, I have we have an echo here that counts for each iteration. So the scream isn't forever. It, it uh, is for a couple of rounds and then the scream disappears. And it gets a welcome. It pr prints out the, <laughs> the maze as it looks. So 
you can see where all the pits and wumpus and the gold uh, splench breeze everything is and then uh, this program also prints out the uh, minions uh, mind map so to say uh, and it prints a little uh, info and what the percepts can catch uh, you have a menu uh, because now the game you can you can play the minion by yourself uh, just to see that everything works and it uh, you can you can write things if you write wrong it uh, alerts you and you can try again uh, that's basically it uh, I will run the game just quickly but you can do it you can stop here <laughs> if you don't want to look anymore just to show everything how it looks uh, the world how it looks and this is the world in the minion's mind it doesn't know anything yet except where itself is and uh, the points uh, the minion is facing right from the beginning yeah, you have your senses which in this case is nothing but if we go down one step we should sense a breeze so we can try that go down and now our minion can sense a fresh breeze so and we can see the wumpus is to the right so if we face right uh, if we look right the minion is facing right and then we can shoot bam ah we killed the wumpus Woohoo! good for us terrible scream echoes in the cave for a couple of rounds and we can also jump down in a pit though we have a fresh breeze we can do that uh, go to the right Bah! we fell down in the pit and died too bad and we can play again if we want to and get a new maze but we can also exit there and not play again and then we're done uh, i think that was everything um this game uh, you cannot press the push the button to interrupt the kernel uh, I don't know, but Jupyter Notebook probably has something built in a function where when we catch typos, it also catches that break function. So you have to exit by typing exit <laughs> in the application. But oh well, it can be like that. So thanks for me and uh, have a good time. Bye.